Minnesota Vikings as they take on last year's number one overall pick, Baker Mayfield, and the upstart, Cleveland Browns. So with that, let's get up to First Energy Stadium in Cleveland. For the call, we welcome in our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach. First opened in 1999. There's a good look at First Energy Stadium here in Cleveland, Ohio. The folks here in Cleveland, even though all the down years, have never stopped supporting their hometown guys, and we got evidence of that a moment ago as the Browns made their entrance. They are ready to do battle with the Minnesota Vikings. Alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and as we look at this matchup, Every time there's something different to focus on. So I'll just ask you, what do you see here in this one? Well, Rembrandt, you've given me a pretty blank canvas to focus on, haven't you? Yeah. Where do you think I'm going to go with this? Oh, secondary? You know me. You know me well, right? In a game like this, it's always about the secondary. Can they handle the passing attack and make a few plays? The Browns heading out, and the pressure squarely on the shoulders of number six in his second season now with the Browns. The number one overall pick in 2018, Baker Mayfield. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. Defense. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. Now a throw downfield is taken in by his running back. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. An early statement on the game's first play. 18 yards and a first down. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backside of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there. They just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. Throw it. Mayfield flushed out right. Almost able to intercept it. That's one he would have liked to have held on to on his first drive. Instead, second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, he'd be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Forced out to his left. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. Third and short yardage, Mayfield, and they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. Harrison Smith on the safety blitz, able to get the sack. Mayfield, and he's taken to the ground, but he was pulled down by the face mask. Here come the flags, and I believe this is going to be a first down. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. A lack of discipline defensively on fourth down, and now that leads to a first and 10. And he takes a shot on the release, as this will be incomplete. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Frees up your guys elsewhere. Throwing again on second and 10. Mayfield, this is caught, and he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. 12 yards there and a first down. Now they're piecing together a nice drive to start this one. Seems pretty scripted and pretty successful so far. And I think they did it without our help. Because you remember when we sat in with the, in the production meeting with them to talk about this and, hey, you know, how are you guys going to come out of the gate? I know I offered my help with a few plays, and they didn't seem to didn't want it. For me. Uh, you, you were the smart one. Whatever they're doing, though. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. An eight-yard touchdown run. And the Browns have taken the...
Here's Dalvin Cook, third year back from Florida State. And he'll wind up with about six, up past the 30 to the 31. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the second goal. Completes it to the fullback, Ham. That winds up being a four-yard loss and leads to fourth down. And not what you're looking to do on third and one, completing the pass but going backward. I have zero explanation for that because third and one, you just figure snap, throw, first down, right? Easy play, but end up losing yardage on it. That's hard to account for. 12 yards on the return that time, and the Browns will take over first and 10. Mayfield going to lead the Browns up now, first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. He'll buy some into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Harrison Smith, and he will be brought down, but he's got the intercept. Okay, it's real simple to say from here, but we know that sometimes as a quarterback, you've got to know when to say when and just throw it away. Flushed out to the right, tries to make something out of nothing here, and it winds up floating one downfield that gets intercepted. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. Xavier Rhodes, the cornerback, there in coverage. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Odell Beckham Jr., 20. And all the way in, touchdown, Cleveland. Odell Beckham. 75 yards, and the Browns are able to strike quickly for six. Field. He's going to air one out. That incomplete crisis averted. Almost picked. Instead, second down. <laughs> I'm laughing to myself because I could just hear in film session. But, Coach, I started to Odell Beckham Jr. Of course I thought he was open. <laughs> They'd love to go deep downfield to him. such a threat. Yeah, a rare incompletion because most of the time we expect him to actually come up with the catch. It's a gain of 34. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Coverage there by the safety, Harrison Smith. They're going for a receiver there. Already has one touchdown in this first half. A second one not to be. I like where their head space is, though. I mean, I really like the thought process, right? You got a guy who's already scored one, right? You want to go back to him, continue the hot hand, and make them adjust to you defensively. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. We've got a 14-3 ball game with two minutes left in the opening half. Fans, a reminder, I have a note card here that says ad-lib halftime preview. So I guess let's do just that as we'll hand things over to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando when this one reaches halftime. Did I do okay? You did great. Not a bad job. Hey. Uh, you know, writing down your ad -lib. If you print it, I'm going to read it. I'm Brandon Gonham. Fans do love the long ball, don't they? And he already found his guy once. Tried to give him another chance there, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Couldn't connect. But as you alluded to, he does have that touchdown from earlier trying to keep him in the rhythm. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Jarvis Landry 
34 yards. First and ten, Mayfield. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. That's caught at the 25. And he's able to get it all the way down to the 20. A big play there just before halftime. And even 60 yards. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. We have hit halftime. Well, who needs a halftime? Am I right?